All right, homeowners and roofers, do you have a love-hate relationship with skylights? I know I absolutely have a love-hate relationship with skylights. Sometimes they can be absolutely great. Sometimes they can be absolute nightmares. You're looking at an absolute nightmare right here. So in today's video, we're actually going to learn why you should love and embrace skylights. We're going to talk to Marty Goss. He's a representative with Velux right here in our local market. He's going to tell us all about Velux skylights. So Marty, tell us kind of who you are. Give us a little bit of your background story. Tell us how you got into Velux and sure. why Velux. All right. All right. Um, well, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Um, so I've been with Velux for 33 years, actually. Um, and it's been, it's been a great <laughs> 33 run. 33 years? 33 years, yeah. Gosh. Yeah, and I'm the sales rep for Colorado and Wyoming. Uh, half of Wyoming. I've got a rep in Salt Lake that covers the other half. But um, I originally started with Velux running the warehouse for a number of years. And then I was technical service manager for the Western United States and got into sales 1994, I believe. So... <laughs> Do a lot of driving, a lot of traveling, um, but it's been great. It's a great, great company, great product. So one of the things that I've seen both in interacting you with you face to face, and through email, and also, like I said, I watched one of your videos uh, on YouTube. You seem to just really enjoy what you do. You seem to really like Velux. Why? What's you know? Tell me what's great about Velux. Thirty three well, years. So Velux is, it's a very unique company in that uh, it's a Danish company. VE is short for ventilation. Velux is Latin for light, so it's ventilation and light. Huh. And um, one of our core values is mutual respect. So that goes all the way from the president of the company down to the, down to the people on the production line doing the same thing every day. Everybody respects each other, everybody gets along, um, and it's just a great environment, and it's a great product. So That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, tell me about some problems that skylights historically have had. Sure. So in a little bit, we're going to look at what we call a acrylic dome or a bubble skylight. And the issue with those is they rely on cox and silicones, which break down over the years, versus what we do is um, everything's based on natural drainage. The water always has something to drain on down to. So we're not relying on old technology. Um, sealants and so forth that the, the old acrylic domes had. So it's a lot more energy efficient product today. Um, and that was the issue. Sky's got a really bad rap in the 70s and 80s based on the fact that the old acrylic domes were energy inefficient. They, they had condensation problems. They leaked. Um, they broke during hailstorms. So um, anyway, we're, the market share in Colorado, our market share is tremendous here. Um, and uh, a lot of it is, is replacing those old products. Yeah. Yeah, so you, I mean, you talked about the energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. So tell me about, I know that Velux is low E, yeah. tempered. What else? I mean, tell me so, kind of about the energy efficiency sure. of them. So, so the deck mount skylights, we'll talk deck mount and curb mount here in a little bit, I'm sure. But um, the deck mount skylights, we utilize what we call a Cardinal 366 glass. And the Cardinal 366 is a tempered over laminated glass. Laminated glass, just like your car windshield, so it's a safety glass. If it breaks, it's not going to fall to the ground. It's also got a tripping of, triple coating of low E and it's argon filled. So the glass is very energy efficient. Um, we like to say our skylights are like the best vertical windows out there, like the, the best Marvin Anderson, you know, brand names that people know. Mm -hmm. um, it's just our windows on the roof versus on the, on the wall. So. And so triple coat low E, mm -hmm. what's low E? Low E is, stands for low E emissivity. And low E is a coating we put on the glass um, it helps with heat gain and heat loss. It also helps with ultraviolet protection, which causes fabric fading over the years. So that's pretty standard in, in all windows today is, is low, e, low okay. coating. So How many panes of glass in a typical Velux? Two. Two, two. two panes. We can do three if necessary. Um, why, would, why would somebody want three panes of glass? Well, Boulder County, for instance, surprise, is the most strict county in the country for skylight requirements for for u values u values the overall energy efficiency of the unit i see and on some particular products that we offer i have to go to a triple pane unit to meet that u value so uh, leaking mm -hmm. right that's mm -hmm. that's the bane of Absolutely. skylights yep right yep. i as a roofer i've got a love-hate relationship with skylights yep. because of leaks tell me what velux does to prevent leaks solid leaks why velux Skylights don't leak. Well, 
it's the quality of the product. And again, everything's based on natural drainage. We have a 10 year no leak warranty, which means we not only warranty the sky against leaking, but when using our flashing kit, which comes with ice and water shield, so we are wrapping that frame or the curb, whether it's deck mount or curb mount, in the ice and water shield. So by doing that and using our pre-manufactured flashing kit, the homeowner has a 10 year no leak warranty, which means we not only warranty the skylight, but we also warranty the roof deck around the skylight. So it's a 10 year no leak warranty. Um, if it was to leak and it's our issue, and it's not an installation issue, um, we're gonna give them free product and pay up to $1,000 for installation of a new product. I remember I went out and visited a homeowner one time who had an issue with a skylight. Mm -hmm. It was a Velux skylight. Um, it was after the 2020 storm. He had had the skylight replaced in 2018. Mm -hmm. And he called us because he had already contacted Velux. I don't remember what his issue was with the skylight, but something happened to it. Yeah. And he had called Velux and they said, have it replaced, we'll pay for it. So I was flabbergasted. Wow. You know, <laughs> I couldn't. It might have been, was the glass broken due to hail? I can't remember. I honestly it, can't remember. So we do have a, we do have a hail warranty on the glass. It's a 10 year hail warranty on the glass. It doesn't matter size of the hail. If the glass breaks um, due to hail. Grapefruit size hail. It doesn't matter. We're going to give them a new piece or give them a new skylight. See, okay, so help me make sense of this because I had a I had a homeowner one time, um, lived in an old farm, and he had the double dome plastics mm -hmm. I call them, and that's what he wanted to put back on. He yeah. wanted double dome plastics put back on because he was afraid that if hail hit mm -hmm. his glass skylight, mm -hmm. it would shatter it, right. and that he'd have glass all over in right. the living room. Whereas with plastic, no big deal, right? Yeah. But, um, I mean, it took a lot of convincing to get him to put on a Velux. Right. So, so I mean, the, talk about that. The, so the exterior paint is tempered, okay? So it's tempered glass. And so that's your strength. So if that breaks, it's going to break into tiny little shards, okay? However, the interior paint is laminated glass. Again, just like your car windshield, two panes of glass laminated together with a vinyl inner layer. It's not going through that, hmm. okay? So that's the advantage of the laminated glass. Hmm. So... Um, and that's, you know, doing this for as long as I, I have, I've probably seen that 18 storm in Colorado Springs. I had mm -hmm. some panes break. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was three and a half inch hard yeah. hail. Um, but we took, we, you know, we took care of it. So, nice. yeah, it's great, great stuff. Tell me about some of the more popular products that Velux has and kind of talk about the benefits to the homeowner, right? Why would a homeowner want a Velux skylight? Why should a homeowner tell the roofer, I, I want to be like Skylight. Mm -hmm. So a number of reasons. I've got, I've got an example. Okay, so tell us what this is. So this is one of our more popular products and it's, it's really unique in that it's solar powered. So at the bottom of the unit here, there is a photovoltaic panel and there's one wire that runs from that to the Skylight motor. So we're recharging a battery. So this, this will work, and I get some funny questions, will it work at night? Yes, it'll work at night because we're charging a battery, okay? Does it work um, in Seattle? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, like we discussed when I came into the office here, I charge this about one day a month, and then it's in my travel bag in my car for 30 days, and it still works. That's incredible. So it's amazing. It's also got a rain sensor here. It's an acoustic rain sensor. So here's the ra sound of the rain hitting it, and that's going to close your skylight in the event of rain Just or high winds automatically. automatically. What if it's a flicker pounding on <laughs> it'll close it. Absolutely. Scroll walks up there, it'll close it. Um, but the neat thing about solar powered is, is well, really a couple things. Um, we're not running using electricity for this whatsoever. So for you as an installer or the homeowner, it's a very simple process. It's just like putting in a yeah. fixed skylight, um, except we're putting a solar panel in here. The other neat thing is the homeowner gets a tax credit. So because it is solar powered, the homeowner gets a 26% tax credit for product and labor. So you give them an invoice for product really? and includes labor, and then tax time next year, they take that 26% tax credit. Wow. And it's a credit, it's not a deduction, right? Okay. So it comes right off the bottom line of your taxes. Okay, so now before kind of we, we move on, I wanna make sure that we uh, everybody understands that this has a screen inside of it, which may be kind of hard to see on the video, so then want people to think that you're opening up a skylight, and yeah, squirrels can just climb right in. Right. Birds can fly it in. It's screen. got a screen in there. Yeah. Right. So, so go ahead, keep going. Let's, so let's I'm gonna on. I'm gonna go ahead and open this a little further. It's like a big motorcycle chain. So as it extends, it becomes rigid. 
And if it rains and the rain sensor gets wet, it closes a heck of a lot faster because it's saying, hey, it's raining and I got to close. The, the other thing we've got on here is a solar powered shade. So you can see the shade up here has its own photovoltaic panel and I can open and close that via the remote control. And we've got a room darkening shade like you see here that blocks all the light, typically used in a bedroom. I've also got a light filtering shade which does transmit light through it. You don't have to have a solar powered skylight to use a solar powered shade. We can put a solar powered shade on a fixed skylight. And if you do that, the homeowner gets the tax credit. Just by adding the solar powered shade, they get the tax credit on the skylight, the flashing kit, the shade, and labor. So it's a tremendous deal. Yeah, anything so, else you want to show us on that? Well, so the rain oh. sensor, it's acoustic rain sensor. Okay? So you can see how much quicker that's closing than it was opening. Because what, if it's, got hit. what if it's just like a. I don't know, a sprinkle. It's not a heavy yeah. rain or something. Yeah, like so that. if it's just, you know, we get a little dew, a little moisture in the morning, um, it's not going to close it, but it's probably not coming in either. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, good point. So it's going to it's going to close it when that is hit and the moisture is coming in. So this is all operated via remote control. Okay? We also have a product called Velux Active. And Velux Active is an internet-based internet system. And what it does, it gives you the ability to not use the remote, but use, uh, use the app on your phone to open and close the skylights. Of course. And the other thing it does is when you use a ventilating skylight, we put, with Velux Active, we put a sensor in the, in the room where the skylights are. It senses three things, humidity, temperature, and CO2 levels. Through the internet-based system, it's reading the local weather. So if it says, okay, in Colorado Springs today, it's gonna to be 100 degrees, it goes through an algorithm, and it will close your shade before you start to get too much heat gain, okay? It will also open up your sky automatically. Let's say, let's say it's Christmas, you got a bunch of people in the house, the CO2 levels are getting unhealthy, it's measuring the indoor air quality, and it will automatically open your skylight to improve the indoor air quality. And of course, you can override it too if you don't want to do that. So, Pretty, pretty unique application. This is not your grandpa's skylight. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, what's the official name for these kind? Well, like you said, double dome acrylic skylights, bubble skylights. Okay. Um, most of these are curb mounted skylights, which means what I just showed you was a deck mount. We use deck mount skylights. Um, I've got flashing kits for all applications, but typically it's a sloped roof, asphalt shingle, tile, metal. Um, these are these are more for uh, flat roof applications, although a lot of people put them on, on sloped roofs. Okay. Um, it is a better app, a curb mount is a better application for like a stone coated steel or a tile roof. But we offer curb mount skies, but they're flat glass, they're not the acrylic dome. So the problem with this is really this is very energy inefficient. inefficient. Um, what happens to this acrylic over the years is the, especially in Colorado, the ultraviolet rays are so intense that it weakens the acrylic, mm. and we get hailstorm, and they mm -hmm. break and crack very easily. Yeah, you can see this one's got this cracks. This one's already got a crack, but never yeah. cracks in it. Right? Yeah. So um, this is your, you know, this is your father, grandfather skylight of nineteen seventies, and it's just energy inefficient. It's um, it's not attractive in my opinion, and some of the biggest issues here besides the acrylic is. All these rely on cock or silicone and it's oftentimes exposed. So that's exposed to the sun. So that's not gonna you know, that's not gonna last forever. And you can see that here that this one obviously was leaking at some point. Somebody's come in here and added some caulk or sealant or mastic to try and alleviate that. So it's just it's just the technology's come so far that this is a product that we don't see much around here anymore. So Yeah, so from our standpoint, from a roofer standpoint, again, yeah, just like we can see cracks all over this and we just replaced this one yesterday, put a Velux on it because this homeowner actually called us, I think two or three years ago and um, just for a general inspection. Mm -hmm. It's actually a property manager. So we went up and we noticed all these cracks right. two or three years ago. And we said, well, you gotta replace these skylights. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever reason, the homeowner decided I'm gonna wait it out came up, you can see, put some caulk on there. Right. We didn't do that, I don't know who did this. Um, then they called us again uh, a couple weeks ago because now they've got a leak, which has ruined drywall sure. inside the house, sure. which all could 
have been avoided just by replacing this. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And, and during the re-roof is really the time to replace the skylights. And the reason for that, there's, there's a number of reasons for that. One, you're already on the roof. Okay, you've got the shingles torn off. You can take the flashing off. It's going to save time and money versus coming back and just doing the skylight. Secondly, we talked about energy efficiency. The energy efficiency is so much better in the glass today than these old units. So that's the second reason. And probably the most one of the most important is we, we like to call it a coinciding warranty. So you're going to give the homeowner a new warranty for the roof. The roofing yeah. material has a warranty. This has no warranty on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's give them a new warranty with the Velux skylight. At the same time, we're giving them a warranty for the roof and do it all at once. So this is another type of, of skylight. This is actually a, a flat glass curb mount sky. The one we just looked, looked at previously was a curb mount, but it was acrylic dome. So this is the flat glass unit. Um, this is made by a competitor here in town. It's actually a pretty good skylight. But what happens on curb mounts is when you remove them from the curb, they've got a bunch of caulk and sealant on that old curb where the sky is, is mounted to. And what happens, you start prying up on these and remove them from the curb and you break the seal of the glass here. And I think you've probably experienced that before. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And in fact, from our standpoint, again, as roofers, I mean, you mentioned uh, having warranty on all the components. So there have been times in our younger days or less experienced days where the skylight, like this, looks like it's in pretty decent condition. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, why replace it, right? So we didn't replace it, but, you know, this is kind of a heavy piece. If you get one that's larger, the guys have to take this off. They're prying so it up and it's glued down. Yeah, right. And and not only that, you know, we want to wrap the curb with ice and water shields, so right. we've got to take this thing off. Right. And what we what I found is any kind of you know torque, twisting that Absolutely. it's yeah, just like you said, this seal can get compromised. Or you can break the glass. And well, thankfully we've never <laughs> we've never done that, but um, so even. Uh, we had one custom made, it was six foot by six foot, by the shop here in town, just like this, right? Heavy metal frame, heavy glass. Just getting it up onto the roof mm -hmm. was a challenge Absolutely. In, in making sure that it's straight, level, right. so that way we're not compromising this. Because, you know, I did one job where we did not replace the skylight, and afterward they got a heavy rain, and the skylight right around here leaked and i think it was because we had taken it off you know sure. torqued it a little bit put it back on broke the seal i ended up replacing the wood floor. absolutely <laughs> absolutely so yeah it's the, you know a curb mount skylight they definitely have their application that's where you've got a flat roof you've got a tile roof you're getting it up above the roof deck further so curb mount versus deck mount they have their place but anytime you're doing a roof you know whether it be curb mount or deck mount we should replace that skylight and yeah. what, what's in in the event of a hailstorm, insurance is going to say, we're going to replace the cladding and the flashing, okay? The cladding right. is the aluminum skin around the skylight, okay? Now, this is a frame. It's a little bit different, a little bit. But like on our Velux skylight, which you saw over here, there's all this exterior cladding on there. And insurance wants you to replace the cladding and flashing. Depending on how old it is, I, I, might, excuse me, I might not be able to get cladding or flashing. And so what I do is I'll write insurance letters. I spend mm -hmm. a bunch of time with the insurance companies. A lot of the insurance agents know me. They'll call me and say, can this be replaced? I'll tell them no. Um, and then we'll get the whole skylight replaced. So um, don't always, you know, utilize me, utilize Tracy here. If uh, if there's an insurance claim um, and they're only wanting to, you know, pay for cladding and flashing, oftentimes I can get the sky replaced. Yeah, and honestly, that has been such a big help because we've seen that. We don't see it so much anymore because I think the insurance companies are getting wiser and weary of the battle because yeah we've had you write letters and yeah. that we've sent in because you get those dimples along here right and they're like oh yeah just replace that right well, if you can't you can't right gotta yeah. replace the little skylight absolutely and we want to we want to replace the little skylight anyway, anyway. Yeah. so in the video you talked about three reasons why you want to replace the skylight at the time that you replace the roof right run over those three again real quick you're already on the roof you can save time and money right you're already there you're not coming back specifically to do the skylight secondly energy efficiency so a lot more energy efficient unit with the triple coating of e, which we talked about than the old units and coinciding warranty let's give new give them a new warranty on the skylight just like we've got on the roof yeah and that one actually is a really big one right why put a product on your roof shingles or whatever that presumably has a 50-year warranty 
not replace the skylight, and maybe six months later you got to go back and deal with an issue because where's the first place you're gonna have a problem yeah. if yeah. you don't replace it? <laughs> exactly. You know? On the skylight. On the skylight. Because that's historically Absolutely. the problem area. Absolutely. What are some of the more innovative products that Velux has? I mean, I think that thing, the solar powered mm -hmm. remote control with the shade, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's top of the line. That's the Cadillac right there. Okay. Um, we have a lot of different products for different applications. For instance, let's say let's say you're down in the Broadmoor, and a lot of those homes have that old Victorian loft upstairs, like mm -hmm. the living attic, we like to call it, where you walk up there and the slope of the roof is within reach. Mm -hmm. um, those are what we call roof windows versus skylights. So you can open them for egress application. Actually, egress is for large enough for a fireman to get in with the tank on. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, but we have a what we call a cabrio balcony window, which is hard to describe. But the cabrio balcony window, the top portion of the top sash being the operable part lifts up out of the way. And the lower sash, you walk it straight out and it creates this handrail baluster system. So you're standing above the roof line. You're standing on the floor, but you're standing above the roof line. Yeah, okay. It's an option to a dormer is what really what it is. So if people are familiar with the dormer. Um, one of the neat things about the Velux products, being on the slope of the roof, you get two to three times more light than you do from a vertical window application. So when, because it, it, and the light penetrates further into the core of the room also. So based on the fact that it's on the slope of the roof, you're getting double the amount of light and versus a window in a dormer application. So a lot of benefits to skylights versus vertical windows in that type of applic application. The heat build up, mm -hmm. right? Now, most of the skylights that we install are just the standard. You know, Fixed skylight. Yep. Yeah. They don't have shades in them, anything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the times people have been concerned about the glass ones mm -hmm. adding too much heat to the house mm -hmm. as opposed to like the double dome plastics. Well, what about that? So that's really a misnomer because um, what we're talking about is what we call solar heat gain coefficient, which is a measurement of how much heat gain you get through the, through the glass, okay? So that's why they had the bronze domes, to reduce heat gain. Mm -hmm. The solar heat gain coefficient on a glass Velux skylight is much, much better than a bronze dome ever could be, hmm. based on the nature of glass versus acrylic and the low E coatings. So, um, but people get concerned about um, not only heat gain, but how do you control the glare? How do you control the light? And that's where the solar powered shades come in. Yeah. So, so basically, as a roofer, we should be pushing people toward skylights with shades. Absolutely. To get the tax credit, too. Uh, a big yeah. benefit to the homeowner. What about the, um, but that's only with the solar power? Or is that like with the manual? There's crank? no more manual shades. No more manual shades. Everything's solar powered. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unless it's a roof window application, like we were talking about that attic or loft. If okay. the sky's within reach and it's a roof window, okay. those are manual shades. But for the traditional skylights, it's solar powered only. Okay. What else do we need to know about Velux, about skylights? Well, Velux is, it's a, it's a, like I said, it's a very unique company. One of our, one of our mottos is um, one experiment is better than a thousand expert views. And what that means really is we're always innovating. We're always, we're always working together, collaborating with the team to um, come up with ideas as far as products or how we do business or programs we offer the roofer, um, things we can offer the homeowner. Um, a lot of our advertising today is consumer-based um, hmm. because the trade knows Velux, but the consumer still doesn't know Velux. So that's that's who we're talking to. But um, the, thousand, the thousand expert views versus a, an experiment is we're always innovating and we're always thinking that nothing stays the same. So um, we're going to try stuff. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But oftentimes it does work. I went over to Beacon a couple days ago to pick up the skylight mm -hmm. that we installed yesterday. And Pedro asked me, tempered or laminate? They're all tempered on the exterior pane. So it's either tempered over tempered or tempered over laminated. Oh, okay. I got you. The laminated gives you the hail warranty. Some retailers will sell tempered over tempered as a price point. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. But you really should be using laminated glass every time. I'm putting that in every time because I don't want any liability if that mm -hmm. tempered, yeah, pain, right. tempered pane was to break. We had one break in Denver a number of years ago. Tempered over tempered um, over a pool enclosure. Oh, God. We had to drain the pool, clean all the filters, because tempered glass comes down in tiny little shards. Yeah. Okay. We had one break in the northeast one time over a baby's crib. Oh, Luckily, no. the kid wasn't in there. But you should always use laminate glass for the interior pane, because that wouldn't happen. 
would just hold together just like a Kremlin shield. Marty, thanks so much. Thank you. I sure appreciate you My coming pleasure. here and Thank giving you. me some time to do all this. this I appreciate it. So